antiques around the house. When it comes to remodeling and renovating your home, there is a lot to know. The Reed got you covered. This is Around the House. Welcome to the Around the House show, where we usually talk home improvement every single week. But you know, this is a special show that I wanted to do because you as our listeners have heard him on Around the House and intro music for a number of years. And now this guy, my friend, is crushing the voice. Jaden Luke, welcome back to Around the House, because you've been here for a while, my friend. Thank you so much. Crushing. The vo- I like that. This is a good intro. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so, so thankful to be here and um, just want to say hi to all the viewers. Um, I feel like I know you guys a little bit from Eric playing my tunes for uh, this whole time. So it's uh, such a pleasure to speak for you guys and speak to Eric right now. Yeah, man, this is fun. And uh, and I mean crushing it. When I turn around and I'm on social media and I see all of a sudden Jimmy Fallon, you're on Jimmy <laughs> Fallon all of a sudden. And all of a sudden I'm looking around and Entertainment Tonight has you as a lead story. It's like, okay, this isn't the kid that was just playing in front of 15 people five years ago at a winery. <laughs> Thanks, now he's man. out crushing it. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's weird. It's, it's one of those really surreal things that, um, I think, uh, my whole life I like, I work towards and I I pray for, I guess, but I think once it actually happens, it's like, Oh, like here we are, I guess. Um, but you probably thankful for probably (laughs) don't even realize it, but I remember you in a car seat. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I don't remember that. I I know you don't, but you know, (laughs) Do you remember when you were little and your dad remodeled your kitchen? Very, I very just, vaguely. Just a I little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. I, I, yeah, I know you did. We, yeah. I, I you like, have full responsibility for every time we go in the kitchen. It's Eric's kitchen. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably walk over there since that was so long ago and I'd go, oh man, I'd do it differently like this and like that. And it's kind of like when you go back and listen to old music. And I was you just going to oh, say. Oh man, I wish I would have. Yeah, you, know. you should hear me about my CDs, but <laughs> yeah, it's, but that's the natural progression, right? Yeah, if you're not of course. learning something and getting better. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about first before we talk about kind of your group of what's been going on with your career here and how you've been growing your tribe out there. I got to ask you some questions because, like, first one here, this one kind of actually made me a little jealous. Okay. Just had Gwen <laughs> Stefani say, "What? I love this guy." <laughs> oh man, I'm glad I couldn't hear them say that while I was singing because I would probably be like <laughs> totally losing it. <laughs> I gotta ask you, what was that? What was that like? And we're gonna go into some of these other things here because that's not just where we're starting with this. But <laughs> what did it feel like? You got to have nerves walking up on there. It's like, all right, you're on. Oh, my god! And you're walking out in front of a crowd. You have people that you've got to perform to. And your not career is on the line, but that game is on the line. This is that, uh, you know, fourth down in the Super Bowl kind of thing. And I got one play to go here. And in this game, I got to land that thing. And of course, yeah. you land it. But what did it feel like? <laughs> To see the first Blake turn around and hit that button. Oh my gosh, dude. It was, I don't even know how to put it into words, honestly. Like the whole time being backstage and uh, before going on, it's like this whole journey, I feel like I've always just been like um, praying for this opportunity and like almost just uh, trying to be ready for this next step that, you know, God's going to bring me to. And so this whole time, I was like, man, he's giving me an opportunity. All right. Like I have to really like show up here. And it's, it's a weird thought being backstage, like knowing that the next 90 seconds, how you sing could like either make or break like your future, you know? And so man, it's not all about that one game, but in the current moment, well, yeah, oh, absolutely. there's a big road that you have a door opening to. And it's like, all right, mm-hmm. can you kick it open? 
Exactly. Can you kick it open? Exactly. Especially since there were a lot of like talented singers um, from the previous day of blind auditions who didn't go through. And we heard out, we heard from them like, oh yeah, nerves just got to me. And like, we see all these super talented people going home and like, it's like, oh my gosh. But um, yeah. yeah, man, I think just walking on that stage and just like remembering why I'm there and why I'm ready for something like this. But uh, yeah, right when Blake turned, like it was like, okay, I'm in, I could like relax now, <laughs> but it, exactly. I will say it was nice. Like having with my mom and sister there backstage, it just like, part yeah. of me just felt like I was home singing in my living room for them. So that was a See, really smart, very nice smart. blessing. Put yourself in a safe space, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And so you're singing, Blake turns around and then legend drops around. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, how crazy was that? And I do have to say that uh, your diss of legend there oh that was gosh. slight was so well played. Uh, you know, it's so funny because John is probably like the most classy, like sophisticated, sophisticated, exactly. well-spoken guy like I've probably ever met. Um, and yeah, like he came to the, Chateau Saint Michel Winery um, yeah. last year, and like it's so funny because like it wasn't even like his call to like have me open or not. It's just because I opened there before, and I really wanted to open for him, but somehow his <laughs> team didn't like actually like go with me. It I don't wasn't even down think to he him. Needed. It was some I know like, third level manager. Exactly. Right? I don't even think he like needed an opener. He was probably traveling with an opener, but yeah. I don't know. I was just having fun with him at that point. But um, <sighs> of course, Blake took that and ran with it, which was you know, what I expected to happen, but it was fun. <laughs> that was it. And that was awesome. And that just made me laugh, but, uh, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta ask for all the ladies out here right now. We're going to play a couple clips here from the voice that I gotta, I gotta ask you about here. And Please. here's the first one that we're going to jump into. <laughs> I am so mad that my team is full because your voice is so special. My first thought was, I'm going to steal this guy, too. But hearing you talk about 50s and 60s and 70s, and then Gwen was like, oh, my God, I love that talk. I was like, Gwen should steal you first, and if she can't, I'll save you, baby. <laughs> Thanks for saying baby. I, I might have been singing it for you, so. Oh, my oh God. God. Wow, wow Jaden. <laughs> Jaden, you're making my whole day. Jayden. <laughs> He is swapping <laughs> right right now. Um, Thanks, Jaden. Well so done, sir. Dude, well like done. Well played there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been asking me about that. And like, always my response is like, someone had to do it. Like, yeah, Camila is way too like sweet and gorgeous and amazing to go a whole season without anybody like. Oh, but wait, that. hold on a second. I've got one more here that I need to bring up that I, oh, boy, that I snagged it. off of Jimmy Fallon oh, here. this one's good. This one's good. <laughs> Thank you I so was much. like hot and flustered for a second there. <laughs> oh, hey. That was a really sexy arrangement of the song. Well, what? it is my team. I mean. <laughs> Hi again. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you too. <laughs> okay, Jaden, your tone is so beautiful. I want to hear it in my ear. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. That was that was a joke. I want to hear it <laughs> on a record. I think you as an artist, like as the whole package is special and you're my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you get better than that in life, honestly. I, no, um, <laughs> dude. I mean, come on. Come on. You've got all the news stories talking about your pseudo love affair. And I fully realize this is television. It's not yeah. like you guys are going out to dinner and stuff right now, but Hey, don't get it. It's just, out, but I don't know. Hey, I get what you you know, <laughs> Oh no, hey, I'm, I'm going to be serious with you here, brother. I mean, you and I have talked for years about your music career. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't put that past you at some point here because, <laughs> and I say this respectfully and, and, this is all adorable and awesome with that, how that worked out and, and, and how cool it is. But to me, I've said, hey, man, you're going to be doing A. You've done A. We've gotten through B. <laughs> I think we even got to C where you're working with my friend Nicole Witt, yep. you know, in Nashville. You guys did that song together. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, you got Gwen Stefani telling you 
telling the world that she loves you. <laughs> and of course, you got Camila here and that whole uh, on screen love affair going on. Uh, a little tongue in cheek, but uh, <laughs> dude, I, you know, with your future, it's just going to be hard to say. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Someone, you know, said something to that, like me, to, to me. Um, and I was like, yeah, I honestly, if you told me um, all this would be happening, there's no way I would believe you, honestly, like a year ago. So if a year ago or if a year from now, you'd be telling me, you know, I'd be whatever. I think at this point, it's like, sure. Like, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> However yeah, it's and look. I mean, let's let's go to one last clip here, and this talks about your career a little bit. I thought this was great. Woo! <laughs> Hi, Jaden. One thing that we haven't talked about yet is that badass mullet that you just drug up <laughs> on the stage, man. That's hot. Yeah. Thank you so much. And just as much <laughs> as I love your voice, I love your direction uh, as an artist in that music. Gwen's not kidding we listen to bread all the time i'd rather listen to that stuff than than me no i love you and i need your help right now i love your music so much <laughs> he was sitting there lobbying for you hard and that was amazing i love that i i feel like blake is like like a proud uncle almost and like being on his team <laughs> he's like such a such a nice like father figure or uncle figure so um it's pretty cool <laughs> That is awesome. I was going to say, what is, so what's it like when you're standing up there and we're not going to give any secrets away of the show here, so we're going to play this super safe so we can keep everybody at NBC happy because <laughs> I don't want to make them mad by any means because we're going to follow by the rules. I rarely follow by the rules, but this is going to be that one time. You know, what's it like when we talked about how they turned around, but what's it like when now you're not singing anymore and you're talking and now you have to make a choice because you had two legendary artists up there that either one could help you along the way. Mm -hmm. Dude, I like going into this, I was just hoping to be on John's team like the whole time, like the whole time yeah. leading up to it, I was like, man, I hope John turns for me. I really want to be on his team. Um, I don't know what it is. This actually happened to a lot of my like contestant friends like uh -huh. most of the people actually picked someone that they didn't think they were going to choose. Um, and I don't know what it is. I, I literally, I looked just over the moment, right? Yeah. Just the moment I looked over at my mom and sister. I'm like, guys, I'm not good at decision making yet to help me here. <laughs> but yep. they're like, I don't know. And, um, they're, and they're on camera too. So they're like, we're not going to sit there and, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. we're not sticking our arm out for you on this one. So yeah. But honestly, pick. and how I chose Blake, I say like the, the finger, convinced yeah, me because he, he does doing the little, pointing down like me, me, point. me. yeah and like that was honestly like true because like for years i've been watching the show and i see that famous finger and i was like holy cow he's doing it for me now like i have to um, <laughs> <laughs> but i'm so glad like being on blake's team has been like the coolest most fun like journey so i mean you know you couldn't go wrong going with john but like i'm very thankful oh. um to have Joe's Blake <laughs> for sure. I know you well enough to sit there and say there is not one for those any one of those four people up there. Oh yeah, you'd have been happy with. Yes, absolutely. I like. Yeah. I would say if Carson Daly came over and like turned his chair for me, I would. I'd be happy going with Carson. You're if like, that was even right, thing. Cool. We're so, in the game. Let's go. Exactly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, and then basically cameras go dark after it's done and you walk off and you have to kind of come down from that. Oh my gosh. Like high of, Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm not going home right now. Yeah. Yeah. It was so weird. I like, that was probably the weirdest like moment in my life is just like going back into like the van with my mom's mom's sister, going back to the hotel and stuff. It was just like, like what just happened? Like it literally, it's weird. It seemed like it was all like just such a dream. And, uh, and I still wasn't even sure if all the coaches were real. Like, are they like, um, holograms or something? Like, <laughs> like what? Cause it happens so fast. You just go in there and you, you know, kill it and then you leave and then, all right, good job. You know, you made it. It's like, wait, wait, yep. wait, wait, slow down. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, crazy man. <laughs> And then you're doing film schedule schedules. So it's not like you're gone for six weeks or anything. It's like, boom, you get right after it, don't you? Yeah, it's it's pretty fast. Um, so it's yeah, I guess just being ready for everything and anything. But um, 
man, I'm so thankful things worked out this way for sure. And, you know, it's it was cool to see your mom and sister on there. I haven't seen your mom in a while and mm-hmm. your sister for, geez, even longer. But I got to give some credit to your dad out there, too, because, man, he has been your cheerleader I know. so much. And and him being a very personal friend of mine that's uh, that's been my coach from time to time in life when when uh, I was getting my butt handed to me, <laughs> uh, it's been fun to watch him be your cheerleader. Oh, man, I'm so, like blessed um for him and lucky for him uh we have all these like ongoing jokes because my dad my dad wasn't able to be down there because he had we had a senior dog at home to (laughs) take care of (laughs) um but it's funny because he says that you know everyone thinks everyone everyone's gonna like love me even more because they think that i'm gonna be like have a single the single parent my parents are divorced (laughs) because my (laughs) poor dad wasn't down there he was like oh yeah you're gonna get all the all the, you know, foster families oh. on your team, all the people who are like, <laughs> think you don't have your parents together, uh, which is so funny because my dad is like, you know, my number one fan, oh. cheerleader, supporter with everything. And so, um, yeah, if, if you can't see it enough on the show, like, I, you know, I, I know you know how, yeah. um, how close we are and how thankful I am for uh, everything. He you does. have a <laughs> solid family, man. Out of all the people I know that I go, all right. And, you know, growing up is is hard enough out there. But, uh, man, Thanks, I tell you man. what, out of all the people I see growing up, you have one of the best support systems from a family that uh, it's it's quite frankly, in today's age, um, slightly unusual mm. because yeah. it's, you yeah. know, not you're that life right. is a storybook, but you got it. You got it about as close as you're going to get it. No, dude, it, it's so true. I. I don't know how I'm like this lucky or um, blessed for my whole family, but um, yeah, I, I never, you know, I never take those things for granted or those people for granted. And um, yeah, I, I definitely think, or I definitely know the reason I'm here right now is from all the, the love they've given me and the support and to, and to have a chance to like pursue a dream like this, you know, like how many people, talented people don't even get an opportunity to, um, to have a platform or an opportunity to do what they love to do. So yeah, yeah. man, I'm, I'm thankful every step of the way <laughs> so much. Uh, I know you are. And you're so gracious with that. I just, to me, it's amazing. This is why I've got Jaden on the show today is that it just seems like yesterday that your dad was sending me a video off his phone going, um, Hey, you know, as a dad, I'm always going to be a cheerleader, but I think he's got skills. Right. And I was are you kidding me? And that's when uh, I made the introduction for you to go talk to my buddy, Bob. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, who I grew up playing music with that I played in bands with and uh, is a Seattle, you know, guitar music teacher, uh, independent guy, you know, and uh, that's kind of where you're working towards, you know, coming from playing in the, in the house to, you know, living room stuff with friends to, okay, this is, that was kind of, it seems to me, your first step into, hey, this could be a career. I'm not going to be just working at the sporting goods store. Yeah, absolutely. And you, man, you definitely kind of paved that step for me and my whole path. Um, and I actually just want to say a quick shout out to you, man, so much. Uh, I know, I already know your viewers love you, but even even more so, um, I just, you know, want to say how much you have been just like the one of the most important people in my life, man. Like, um, not just as an artist, but as a person too, because like I literally I came into this field, I've like no idea what I was doing. I didn't know anybody. Um, and man, Eric like has always been like, oh, you know, I, I know someone to to help you with this, or like, you know, let me let me help you with this or that, or kind of show you the ropes. Um, and so, man, I seriously I don't think I would have been able to navigate any of this without you. And so, and even just the support and, and everything from the start, um, I can't thank you enough, man, so much. And so it's like, I definitely think that, um, you know, God gives you these people in your lives, um, and, uh, for a very like special reason. And so I definitely like attribute so much of my success to, to you and for helping me get this whole thing started. So I, like I said, your viewers already loving you, but I just want them to know how, how much like I appreciate you, man, and and how much your family for for everything. So, uh, yeah. thanks, brother. Dude, thanks, brother. And it's so great time. to help. And uh, 
Uh, I already know the address to send the check to for that. So I'll make sure <laughs> oh you get that out cut the rest of the day. <laughs> Dude, not at all, man. I love you so much. I <laughs> uh, love you too, brother. Love you too, brother. And it's uh, it's just been so fun to watch. I mean, it was just so surreal sitting there watching that on TV going, here he is, you know, <laughs> here he is. And that was, that was really fun. And you've got just so many great things going. I mean, you've been playing in, in Washington up there in the wine country doing gigs at a lot of little wineries and quite frankly, making good money doing it. <laughs> and now I think the world is going to be completely different. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. And like this little, little wood, Woodenville corner here is like the perfect little singer songwriter avenue and opportunity um, to have a place to play and grow. And you kind of saw that in, you know, the home follow they showed all of Woodenville. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, like at this point, whatever shows, wherever I'm going to be, it's like, like you said earlier, if all this has happened, like, I think I could just say yes to anything and everything. Cause like it's common limit, you know? <laughs> exactly. So for all the single ladies out there want to know, um, are you single? Um, yes. I don't know why I had to think there about we that. Go. For, I don't know why I had to think about that for so long. Um, all right. I'm going to go with yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know you're not chasing the ladies out right now, but I got a feeling they're going to be chasing you. I mean, if you got Gwen and <laughs> Gwen chasing after you in front of her husband and, uh, Camila's love affair there, I think, uh, I think you got a good resume. I think that's a good start for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I, you know, I also expect Eric not just to set me up with musical connections. I just expect him <laughs> just to oh, you know, provide oh, every, no, no, everybody no, no. in life. So. No, no. I, I, right now, as your dad's listening to this, <laughs> is going, no, 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 don't let Eric pick that. Don't let Eric pick that. Because I've made some pretty <laughs> bad decisions in the past, and he's seen those. So he's going to go, no, whoa. I mean, I, I, I figured it out now. My life is wonderful. My wife is great. But uh, yeah. I did make some bad decisions earlier on in life that he witnessed. So uh, well, I'll probably like, defer back over to dad on that. No, one. man, I feel like that's how we find our ways. And so, <laughs> you know, I'll do whatever you sign me up for, man. Oh, there we you're go. My, you're, there my, we you're my coach. Yeah. You're my mentor. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Then I'll uh, I'll go through and make sure and uh, and take a peek at it now that I've been <laughs> trial by fire. That I t- <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So I know there's things we can talk about. and. Uh, things we can't talk about, but let's talk about some of your albums and stuff out there that you've done in the past. Uh, since that's, uh, that's probably a, a good t- subject to talk about here. Yeah. I remember that first CD you popped out and man, I liked it then. And you just keep growing as an artist. And I think one of these things that got you ready for this show is that you were jamming on a lot of different styles. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I think, I think one of the coolest things of having, you know, this opportunity of the voice is to have my like artistry set in my artistry, you know, um, known, I guess. And, and like know who I am as an artist, because, um, for me, it's really cool when you, you know, when you see someone singing, it's cool to see what, like what's in their heart, like what do they want to express artistically? Um, like not just sing, not karaoke a song, not just cover a song, but like really make it your own. Um, mm-hmm. And so, you know, with the bread song I did for the audition. Dude, that and, was a choice of a lifetime you, right there. <laughs> Thanks, man. And for everything else I sing, I literally, like my goal is to make it sound like something I wrote, you know? Uh-huh. And so having um, recorded different EPs and, you know, throughout the last like five years and stuff, I really, I found my sound and I know who I am as an artist. And my, um, my last EP, uh, it's called the Anywhere EP. Um, that was like, um, that was like right, my, my first like project that was really like my sound. And I, I just like, it's so cool. You how these things found work. it, right? I just found it and I just finished the project. And then like, r- I swear it was like the week after I got the call that's saying, Hey, you're going on the voice, you know, you're flying down, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, man, I'm glad I found my sound now. Um, and it's so cool to see the response like on YouTube and like everything from my blind audition, people are like, man, like I totally hear your sound and I feel it. And that's what like the coaches were saying is like, 
beyond just like singing the song, we feel you as an artist. And that was my yeah. whole goal. Cause I mean, that's, that's every songwriter's dream, you know, is right? to, is to be like received. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's been, it's been, yeah, I don't know how these things all work out, but I'm, I'm glad just they does. all do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just does. So what was it like picking that song? A little inside, a little behind the, 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 the curtain there on that. I'm sure they give you a catalog, right? And yeah. say, pick one, right? Pretty much. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, I saw that one from Bread and um, that really is like my mom's favorite song. And so we always like, Bread is kind of a special thing in our family just because it's so, uh, yeah, it, same thing. It's so, ex they're so expressive and like yeah. so much soul and, and stripped down. And like my mom and I just groove to that so much. And so- we we go Neil Diamond in this house. So my oh, yeah. house, it's Neil Diamond. So yeah, it's, we, we jam on that. Julie and I jam on that all the I time. I love it. So. Yeah, same, man. And so I was like, oh, I have to do this. And so I think I um, I was going between a couple songs when I was supposed to pick. And I uh, I played them for my mom. She's like, like it has to be bread. Like, there's nothing sweeter than that. And yep. uh, yeah. And so and, and it turns out it was like Gwen's favorite group and stuff yeah um, and favorite stuff. so it's cool and like everybody loves that it's like america just it's it's like it's timeless you know and so yeah, it's classic it's like, it's like wonder bread and the summer barbecue yeah. and the you know just a, yeah. it's just that comfort food almost for your soul oh totally absolutely absolutely so i'm really glad that they let me sing that one um yeah but so i gotta <laughs> ask you too what was it like with uh you know, you've got two people, of course, that can pick you for their teams. You've got Gwen and Camila sitting there. It had to have been interesting when Camila comes on. And, dude, you were quick on the comebacks, man. <laughs> I, I thought I was, I mean, I was surprised how well you did. And you're fast. And I love that. But, man, your comebacks and how you responded and... There's a lot of people on the show, and let me back up just for a second. There's a lot of people on the show that come up there that have decades of professional music experience. Yeah. And they get up there and they sing beautifully. But when the music stops, <laughs> so does kind of the artistry and the personality, right? Yes. They're yes. almost nervous. They don't really aren't communicating. Man, you went out and said, okay, that was my performance. Now you get to know me. <laughs> And yeah. and your quick snap back to Camila on the on the well, I might have been thinking about I might have been singing about you was just <laughs> brilliant. And then every it was so funny because body language, if you read it, everybody was like, whoa. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, did the producer say anything to you afterwards? Go like, wow, man. <laughs> I mean, Carson, you know, Carson said yeah. it after he was like, forget team Blake. Let's talk about flirting with Camille. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, man. I mean, I don't know this whole time. Like while I'm singing, I'm, I'm like, you know, losing my marbles because here I am playing for her, you know, cause like, like I said, who doesn't have a crush on her? Um, oh, yeah. and then, and then when she said, I'll steal you baby, like, how can I not run with that? Like Dude. that was my chance <laughs> to tell her I love her. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean the door's wide open. You, you got that chance, you know? <laughs> yeah. But she's so sweet. And, and like all four of them are so, so, so down to earth and uh, yeah. so personable and, um, just like very kind hearted people. And so it was really easy to just open up and just talk about whatever they really, they really made it like easy to, um, so you know, just what's, so great yeah. to be around. What's funny is I saw Gwen Stefani at your point in your career now. Oh, you're kidding. Playing no at way. Disneyland. Dang. In the early nineties. Dang. That when must she was to playing in, in the early days of no doubt. Wow. Oh, dude. That's that's and I killer. have their someplace. I have their demo cassette. No. That way. I bought there. Oh, yeah. that's so sick. I don't oh, think they were wow. even signed at that point. It was just a demo cassette. So oh my gosh. That is that's crazy. Yeah, Gwen's I mean, like, she's she's so killer. I mean, she's like rock and roll, because you know, from oh no yeah. doubt and everything, but she's like I, she, 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 she's like one of the coolest people I've met because she does like she's done everything and yep. um, and she appreciates everything, you know, and like 
she's so sweet and she's like rock and roll too. So yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. She, and people go, Oh, well, these stars, you know, she had to, she had to grind it out in the yeah. music scene. Like everybody else has to get where she's at. And, yeah. uh, and I think what's made her successful is one, she's super talented. I've always had a crush on her and it's always <laughs> been, it was funny. Julie was giving me a hard time. My wife about, uh, Oh, Jaden, Jaden got the I love yous before you did. And I'm like, ah, I know you got me. That's good oh. when the, when the Jedi is going, you know, oh, out no. there and doing better. It was funny. We were laughing. That's why I sent you that picture. I was like, slightly <laughs> jealous, man. <laughs> hey, well, it's everything you taught me. So you see, hopefully there take we go. responsibility. There we go. <laughs> but it's just, it's just funny how that people like that, that have had to really work hard to do this. And she's been able to pivot. And there's so many musicians out there. That like, if she hadn't have been able to pivot, it's like, oh, no doubt. Okay. They're kind of done. They've, they're tired. They want to kind of go their own directions and then they disappear. Mm -hmm. You know, how many artists have gone? All right. I made it. I did this. And they just stay in their lane so tight. Yeah. Yeah. That they can't go, Hey, I'm going to do this. And I remember, I remember when, when Gwen did that pivot to more pop mm -hmm. from the no doubt stuff, I was like. I know this is smart, but okay, I'm hesitant. And yeah. it was a smart move for her because it just, she doubled her audience. Oh, totally. Like to have that successful of a career, like in a band and as a solo artist. And um, that's why she like, yeah, knows so many like genres too. And like every, because every singer here was just so different, but like, it's cool to see how much she knew about each, you know, each lane, each genre and appreciate it. And like had so many things to chime in from that. Um, and so- mm -hmm. I think those are like the best type, most talented type of artists who can really like have that big range of, you know, um, appreciation for that. And I mean, she's had success in like all of it too. So it's just so cool. Oh yeah. I think the only one that she hasn't messed with and she has actually because of her husband, but country yeah. would be the only other one that <laughs> yeah. I go. But then of course she's rocking the country charts doing her duets. Exactly. With Blake. So I'm exactly. like, oh, well, she's done country it. too. So <laughs> yeah. I kind of, I think she's hit just about every, every popular genre. Oh, out I know. There. I know. She's, she's insane. She's so yeah. insane. And so but, you know, you're too. not that different as well, though. I mean, I've heard music of yours out of your back catalog where you were, <laughs> uh, you know, Sean Mendez mixed with, uh, Ed Sheeran. Yep. Yep. Uh, then you kind of went into a more almost R and B hip hop <laughs> genre for a little bit and then country. Yeah. And you've been bouncing around finding your, your voice as well, which has been fun to watch. Yeah. My thing is I just like everything. So like once I get, I, and, and I just go from phase to phase with what I listen to. So every time I'm in one of those phases, I like write a song in that, in that genre. And then, you know, here we go. It's just like every genre I make, but like definitely, um, you know, this last EP I did. And then just from being down here and finding my sound, I think this whole folk singer songwriter acoustic realm, um, kind of like how the, that whole bread, song sounds like yeah. that really is my sound sound but it's nice to like it's nice to do other things for fun too and to be able sure. to connect with other people and that's mm -hmm. that's actually like was such a cool thing about being down there around um all the contestants because we would have like so many jam sessions and oh, so it's see so, that's the influences part that you're making oh my friends gosh and it's gotta be just wonderful oh it's amazing and so i would it's so great i would take my you know guitar with the country group and do all that you know bluegrass picking and like sing yep. all those you know those great honky tonk songs and uh -huh. then you know i would i would then i would go right over to the uh the gospel group uh singers singing church songs and we would do worship yep. together you know and see? like just bounce around from genre genre and it's 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 really cool that you could just like kind of uh make all these connections and uh you know because music speaks even more than the more than talking so like you go there and you sing with people and like you're just instant instantly bonded and so i think that's why um also just like the whole family I've, of people i met there is like the coolest one of the coolest parts of being down there because everybody was just so great and like i said they're just so you know so so much like family um yeah so that was for sure the coolest, like one of the most little hidden, hidden blessings I wasn't expecting. Yeah. And I mean, all of you guys are going to end up hanging out and, and being friends probably after. And, and yeah. who knows what doors that opens, right? I mean, exactly. you know, yeah. whatever, whoever wins, whoever keeps going, you know, down the road, however that road has traveled, you've made some great relationships with people that, uh, 
man, you could collaborate with and mm-hmm. everything else. And, and who knows, you know, maybe when, uh, Blake or, you know, John <laughs> or Gwen or Camila go on tour here, they're like, Hey, Jaden, what you up to? Yep. I'll be there. I'll be ready. Oh, yeah. I know you will. I know you will. <laughs> yeah, totally. I know you will. Well, Jaden, I know that you've got to get, because you have TV crews lined up outside your house. It's it's looked like the president's there because you've got people <laughs> oh lined gosh. up out the front door. You know, <laughs> inquiring minds want to know, I'm sure, but uh, they're all out there. But what is the best way for people to find your music right now? Thank uh, you for you know. asking. Yeah, um, I would say um, if you could check me out on Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube, all my originals are up there. Um, on Instagram, I'm you know at Jaden Luke Music. Um, Facebook too. Even kind of getting on the TikTok scene too. But uh, yeah, thank you. I mean, so much for for having me, Eric. Um, you know, I was saying before the show, like how much of a full circle moment this is from, you know, <laughs> you just hearing my songs from the start to now like being on your show. And it's just, it's such an honor and just such a blessing for all this. That I, I really don't take for granted. So thank you for, you know, just being so incredible and, and supporting me and getting me to this point. So, ah oh, man, that's your talent. That's got you there. I'm just happy to lend a hand <laughs> along the road. And uh, Thanks, man. we're just at the start of that. So that's the cool part is there's a long, long road ahead for you, my friend. Thank you so much, man, for everything. All right. Well, thanks for coming on today, man. And uh, you've been listening to Around the House. I'll live half as long to smile twice as much If it means getting rid of this misery Gotta pick up the phone I can't fight alone I need someone to tell me that Sister, you are so beautiful I don't care what you tell yourself Sister, you are so beautiful I don't care if the others will hate How you laugh or make fun of the clothes that you wear Thanks again for listening to Around the House. If you'd like to support the show, maybe buy me a coffee, a cocktail, a beer, or just leave a tip. Head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash ATH Eric G. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash ATH Eric G. And the link is in the show notes. And thank you for being a part of Around the House. Girl, you're perfect. Don't change a thing, darling, I swear. Sister, you are so beautiful I don't care what you tell yourself Hey, it's Eric G. with Around the House. Are you looking to grow your business? Need a spokesperson for your company? Maybe an MC for an upcoming trade show? Or maybe you want to up your game and shoot some promotional videos? My team of experts would love to chat with you. Head to AroundTheHouseOnline.com and fill out the contact us form, and we'll set something up. Thanks for listening to Around the House.